Catelyn Tui made history again after doing this. Catelyn Tui sets her second college at record in as many weeks. Here's what went down, but first, a little background on our stunning sports star. Caitlin Tui, an American athlete who competes for the United States national team in the long distance running event, was born on March 18, 2002, in a suburb of Rockland County, New York. By the time the 2019 cross country season rolled around, she had already won five Gatorade Player of the Year honors and was the 2018 Track and Field News High School Girls Athlete of the Year. She also received the Track and Field News High School Girls Athlete of the Year Award. She established herself as an early high school sensation with the help of her family, breaking records that Mary Kane had previously set in her age group as early as the seventh grade. Mary Kane held these records, and in 2018, the New York Times published an article that made predictions about Tui's future based on her incredible potential. Diglio has exerted significant effort as Tui's advanced placement, AP, United States history teacher to maintain control over her and track her growth. He stated, My job has been to try to apply the brakes, hoping she will not overextend herself. One observer commented, I have never met anybody with her work ethic. He values the same amount of value as he does success. At the end of the 2017 to 2018 school year, her grade point average was 4.59. On Saturday at the Armory, Catlin Tui, who gained fame as a high school runner at North Rockland and broke numerous national records, broke another national record for women's college indoor track and field. At the 115th annual Milrose Games, a runner from North Carolina State University who is only 20 years old finished in third place in the women's 3,000 meter race with a time of 8 minutes and 35.2 seconds. 13 professionals and one other collegiate runner were among the 14 individuals who began the race. Tui's run was 6.4 seconds faster than the previous record for women's collegiate indoor competition and 24 seconds faster than her previous personal best in the distance. She finished in second place overall at the NCAA Division I Women's Indoor Track and Field Championships in March of the previous year after posting a time of 8.50.92 in the event. On Saturday, Monson finished the race in 8 and 25.5 seconds, almost a minute faster than the previous American record for women. In the race's latter stages, there was a pile-up in front of Tui, which resulted in Elise Cranny falling further behind. Cranny is a two-time USATF champion. Although Tui slowed down during her third and second-to-last circuits of the race, the only ones in which she ran faster than 35 seconds, she continued to pass the professionals in front of her and still had a little bit of a push left for the final circuit, 34.61. Since Monson is typically considered a top international contender only over very long distances, the time is all inspiring Given that she ran it to set the women's world-leading record earlier this season at the Summer Olympics in 2021, held in Tokyo, she competed in the 10,000-meter event. Tui was defeated by Monson, who is now 24 years old, in the mile event of the Dr. Sander Invitational which took place on January 28th. Tui vividly remembers watching Monson compete on television during the Olympics and when Monson ran for the University of Wisconsin. Monson finished the race in first place in four minutes, 23 seconds, while another professional, Whitney Morgan, finished in second place in four minutes, 23 seconds. Tui broke the record for the college division in four minutes and 24 seconds. At the Milrose Games, the 26-year-old Morgan ran an individual best of 8.30.13 seconds, which was good enough for second place. Conversely, Tui was doomed to finish last in the Milrose race and never had a shot at victory. She refrained from coming out, possibly too quickly following the game strategy that Laurie Heens, the head coach at NC State, developed. Tui told her that she needed to be truthful with herself and acknowledged that she was not suited for the elite crew. At the halfway point of the 15-lap race, Tui held the eighth position on the leaderboard. 
She was in ninth place with 11 laps to go. And by the time there were 10 to go, she had moved up to the seventh place. She started in ninth place, but with only five rounds left, she moved to fifth. During the subsequent lap, she improved her position to fourth place. After approximately two and a half circuits remained, she advanced to the third place position. Because she follows the instructions from Heens, the boss woman, she gives off the impression that she is content. Her assessments indicate that everything went off without a hitch. Tui described herself as a veteran of indoor track and said that she has been competing at the armory since she was a seventh grader on North Rockland's varsity squad. That happened very quickly. I told myself that a time of 8.40 or lower would be great, and I set out to achieve that. That is how the events transpired. In the end, many people, including Monson and Morgan, who had previously praised her two weeks earlier, praised her for her work. They merely complimented me on the excellent work that I had done, she said. Tuli referred to the confirmation that her work came from outside sources as being very neat. Similarly, shattering yet another record at the collegiate level while competing on familiar ground and in the presence of loved ones was a memorable experience. In addition to the rest of her family and friends, her team's coaches and a few former players were there to celebrate with her. The fact that the athlete had the opportunity to complete the task, there was a real blessing. A muffled yell could be heard from the audience as they called out her name. She was overjoyed to find out that it was true. She had a strong intuition that this was the case. Competing against the professionals requires a different set of skills. Even though Tui has been racing at the armory since she was 12 years old and has rewritten the high school record books here. Despite this, Tuvi has rewritten the record books. When she thinks back to high school, she is struck by how drastically things have changed since then. She responded that it had been challenging for her to learn how to race inside a race, which was her response when asked about her experience with the topic. She was merely being pragmatic by going along with the crowd's plan. She had already concluded that she needed to be qualified for the select group. She is aware of what she is doing, so she makes an effort to put the racing strategy that Coach Heens had given her into action. As we've seen in the past, it's in her best interest to carry out whatever the boss woman directs her to do. Tubi stated that it did not make a difference to her whether she set the record in high school or college because the accomplishment would be monumental no matter the level of competition. She had a lot of fun competing in the high school ones, which were excellent preparation for the college ones and she enjoyed doing them very much. However, she can't help but feel like a big shot when she breaks records like these. However, based on her performance tonight, she could be more than just very good at the next level of competition. A lot of people believe that Tui's college career could be coming to an end this year. Despite this, the ACC Championships and NCAA Indoor Championships are considered the most important competitions. Tui broke Schweizer's record since she was racing in super spikes. This evening, however, we can focus on how well Tui is doing as a college student and not worry about who has the better grade, albeit we favor Tui's. NC double, a records have been set and broken for two years in a row. Sub 15 in the 5,000 meter run will probably have to wait till she does it outside, but she seems ready to break the barrier. So that brings us to the end of our video for today. We hope you enjoyed the video as you learned how Catlin Tui made history and how hard the athlete had to put in to achieve her goals. Stay tuned for more information on these incredible performers and their journey. Please do not be shy about liking, following, or commenting on any of the posts you see here. You must subscribe to our channel if you want to be notified whenever we add new content.